Hey friends, welcome to another Guess the Guest Friday. Here we are in October already. Uh, we'll give you a few moments to guess who our guest devotion reader is for today. And as you do, we've got a joke, and then we'll spend some time dwelling in Philippians here today. So first, the joke. What did the left eye say to the right eye? What did the left eye say to the right eye? I don't know, what? Between us, something smells. <laughs> All right, well, that's funny and gets us all set here for today. We'll spend some time. We're going to read together. So if you've got your Bible there, uh, turn to Philippians. Uh, we're going to spend some time just in a few verses here. Do all things without murmuring and arguing, so that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, in which you shine like stars in the world. It is by your holding fast to the word of life that I can boast on the day of Christ, that I did not run in vain or labor in vain, but even if I am being poured out as a libation over the sacrifice and the offering of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you, and in the same way you also must be glad and rejoice with me. Finally, my brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same thing to you is not troublesome to me, and for you it is a safeguard. Beware of the dogs, beware of the evil workers, beware of those who uh, mutilate the flesh, for it is we who are the circumcision, who worship in the Spirit of God and boast in Jesus Christ and have no confidence in the flesh, even though I too have reason for confidence in the flesh. All right, you may have guessed it, you may not have either way. Here she is, our very own beloved Karen Schwartz. Hello everybody and welcome to my backyard and my garden. Um, today we're going to focus on Philippians 2.14, be blameless and innocent children of God, shine like stars in the world. With so much artificial light in our world, it can be hard to see the stars, but when we're in a remote area on a clear night, seeing the sky sparkling with stars takes our breath away. We expect to see only darkness, but we catch glimmers of light. It's hard to take our eyes off of all of those stars. I know I get dizzy looking at them. Paul cared so deeply for his friends in Philippi that he compared them to the stars that shine in the night sky. In today's passage, Paul gives some instructions for how to live as disciples of Jesus and keep shining his light. He urges them to seek harmony in their community and, and to remember they belong to God. Paul celebrates the Philippians' faith by not, not because of their achievements, but because they are holding fast to the world of life. That's in verse 16. When we hold fast to Jesus, we shine like stars. The world can't take its eyes off of us. Through us, other people see Christ. And the prayer for today is, Dear God, teach us to shine Jesus' light so others are drawn to your love. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Prayer concern today is for police and others who work at night. Amen. Any uh, words of wisdom for our friends out here together in devotion today? Uh, stay home, wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Thanks That's be what to I'm God. Doing. All right. I miss you all. We miss you too. It's good to see you and good to be together, Karen. God bless.